What's up guys and girls? It is Big Guy Little World here and today we are going to be putting camshafts on my 99 Jixxer 600. Stay tuned. What's up guys? I'm back here in the shop and this is my 99 Jixxer 600. This is it. Project bike. She's all torn down. And like I said earlier, today I'm going to be showing you how to install and time the cams. These two right here. As you can see, it's going to be pretty hard because we're going to have to see numbers and arrows and where there's not a lot of visibility. And a lot of people complain about how they can't see nothing. They don't think they got it in time. And, you know, by the end of the day, Today you should be able to understand how to time these engines, pretty simple. I also am going to be changing the oil, uh, putting new valve cover gasket on, as well as um, gaskets on the side of the engine, and uh, new fans on my radiator. I got two fans instead of one because they were cheap and why not have two fans to cool your bike so you don't have a problem with running hot. A quick note I wanted to add was when you're installing this cam chain you want to pull all the slack on the uh, exhaust manifold side. You want to kind of pull the slack up and around your camshaft to get all the slack out because you want all your slack to be on your tensioner side which is right here which I'm gonna clean that gasket up later and install a new manual uh, camshaft sensor or tensioner <clears throat> anyways um, yeah you want to pull all the slack out on the exhaust manifold side pull it up and around the cam and then once you put your intake cam on um, there will be a lot of slack on the intake side of your carburetor side of your chain which your tensioner will take up that slack. <clears throat> First thing you want to do is, on, when you're timing these cams, is take your uh, two plugs out here, and this is a 14 millimeter bolt right there, and then you want to turn your crank around until these two lines on the case meet up. That inside line is on the crank, outside line is on the case. Next step, what you want to do is you want to take your exhaust cam with the number two arrow and that should be facing up that number one arrow will be level with your gasket mating surface on the top of your uh, cylinder head as you can see I got the cam in Number two is facing up. Number one, level with my gasket mating surface of my cylinder head. Boom, level. Now we'll install the intake cam with the number three arrow facing up. In the manual it states that the, uh, in, the exhaust number two arrow should be facing up start counting 15 pins from that arrow back to the exhaust cam where the number three arrow is facing up and then that 15th pin from that that i have marked there as you see there's the first pin and then this is the 15th pin there's your number three on your intake cam and it says at this point after you have these timed with the crank aligned with that dash you can now install your uh, camshaft holders and the specs on these holders is I think it's seven foot pounds okay guys after you got your bolts torqued to seven foot pounds uh, roll your engine over two to three times uh, and then check your marks again that's what I did and then after that after you know your marks good uh, it's not 
I, from my observation, it does not line exactly up with the top of the uh, where the valve cover gasket mounts. It's really close, but it's not exact. And you'll kind of find that once you tighten up your, uh, if you have a manual, um, if you have a manual cam chain tensioner, tensioner uh, once you get it tightened up, hand tight, you'll see that your number, uh, your number three will be, uh, say this is the top of the uh, valve cover, your number three will be slightly, just slightly above. And then after you do that, roll your engine around two or three times, make sure you don't have any valve contact. Uh, you shouldn't. If you have any type of resistance at all, I would stop. But mine rolled over freely, and that means that you have everything done correctly. Now you put your valve cover on, new valve cover gasket, valve cover right there, and then uh, your carbs intake, start it up. Well, guys, this concludes the video on how to properly time your 99 Jixxer 600. It's also for the second gen engines. I mean, they're all the same except for the 750s. 750s have a different cam on it, uh, different cam gear also. So uh, in order to do that, you'd have to go get a manual for it. I'm just familiar with this engine. So if it helped, hit the like button. If it didn't, I guess hit the dislike button, whatever. Uh, this is Big Guy Little World signing out.